The following opinions are solely those of Boatest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Boatest.com. And Hargrave Custom Yachts is one of the most versatile, experienced, and competitive builders of large motor yachts in the world. The reason for that is that it combines the economies of a production boat building facility with the capabilities of one-off tooling and a family-owned business. No board of directors, no absentee owners who know nothing about the yacht business or quarterly reports to stockholders. Buyers of Hargrave Custom Yachts can have virtually any style motor yacht they want, from 76 feet to 185 feet, using the most state-of-the-art hull materials available. Hargrave provides all naval architecture and engineering, all interior design and decor to the customer's specifications, and once the yacht is built and delivered, it provides complete aftermarket support, right down to supplying a captain and crew, slip space, and even charter customers if wanted. Over the years, we've seen some of the most innovative designs come from Hargrave Custom Yachts, and to a large degree, some of the most inventive attributes were the ideas of the owners themselves. Let's take a look at some of the customization Hargrave Custom Yachts can provide. The owner of the 78-foot Hargrave Cinderella was drawn to Hargrave because he liked the open aspect of the 68 motor yacht. But he also wanted a his and hers full beam master bath and a fourth cabin. comfortable seating on top of the trunk cabin on the foredeck. He also wanted a jacuzzi hot tub for six on the flying bridge as well as a bar, dining table and comfortable lounge seating. All of these details weren't possible on a 68 foot boat with a 19 foot beam. So Hargrave customized a 68 footer that the client liked into a 78 footer with a 21 foot beam that has all the details the owner wanted and you have seen here. The owner of the 84-foot Hargrave Mobility wanted to have a large salon with a standard sized sofa, a coffee table, and five comfortably upholstered armchairs, four of which were recliners. He also wanted a dining area that could comfortably seat eight people and not be a squeeze, as well as a desk in the salon. In order to do that, Hargrave had to create a 25-foot salon that took advantage of virtually all of the boat's 21-foot beam. That would require completely new tooling for the deck and superstructure, something that no production builder would currently do. Buyers have to live within the confines of the tooling available with virtually all fiberglass builders, but not at Hargrave. It made completely new deck and superstructure tooling and the clients got the boat of their dreams. The owner of the Hargrave 100 foot raised pilot house MB3 wanted a transom with traditional port and starboard curved stairways to the aft deck and a large very comfortable crew area that could sleep five. He also wanted the salon and dining area to have the room of a 125 footer with a full size sofa, love seat and chaise, a tasteful bar with at least two stools and a dining table that could comfortably seat eight people. To do that, Hargrave built a 100 foot wide body design with a 21 foot beam. Another Hargrave customer wanted all the amenities and room of a 125 foot motor yacht in the length of a 100 footer. It's beginning to sound familiar. So, he went to Hargrave and got pretty much everything he would have gotten in a boat that would have cost nearly twice as much. He wanted a boat that could entertain over 100 people at a cocktail party with food and drink stations all over so people could mix and mingle without feeling crowded. The Flying Bridge has tables and seating all over and even a jacuzzi with a bar. On the main deck, the wide body of the salon would hold plenty of people and he could serve eight for a formal dinner. The aft deck had a Euro-style rounded settee for cocktails and alfresco dining. Guests could even disappear to the foredeck for a getaway from the crowd and find places to relax and enjoy the evening. After the party, he wanted a place where he and his wife could share a glass of bubbly, thus the cozy booth and the master. The owner of the 114-foot sea legend had quite a different mission in mind when he came to Hargrave. He wanted to take his 10-year-old son on a transatlantic trip and then cruise all of the historical spots in Europe and the Med. He would bring along a private teacher for the whole voyage. There would have to be a desk for two below, as well as venues for teaching all around the boat to keep the child's interest high. The teacher would have to have his own stateroom, as would the son, and his parents when they flew in. By specifying a cockpit on this motor yacht, there would be a safe place from which to fish, and the flying bridge with its hot tub, tender, and other toys would break the tedium of study. Sea Legend has traveled nearly 90,000 miles on its own bottom, and has crossed the Atlantic twice and the parents lived happily ever after. The owner of the Donna Marie wanted a boat that could go faster than a yacht owned by a friend. That meant it had to be 114 feet long and go at least 24 knots top end. It also had to be ocean going, be able to entertain a crowd, have four staterooms, 
and room for a crew of four. It had to also have a cockpit for fishing and scuba diving and have a bed in the master that was seven feet from the entrance door. Hargrave again turned to naval architect Jack Sarin and built a whole new boat from scratch with the latest in high-tech materials to save weight. In this case, the whole boat was custom formed to keep up and most of the innovations can't be seen because they're in the hull shape of materials such as e-glass, honeycomb bulkheads, and granite countertops with honeycomb backing. The result was a yacht with a top speed of 24 knots that can cruise all day long at 21 knots with 1950 horsepower CAT C32 Acerts. One boat owner who was tall came to Hargrave because he was tired of bumping his head where most mortals tread. Would it be too much to ask to have a multi-million dollar 100-foot motor yacht to be built to his personal specifications? No, not at Hargrave it wouldn't. Dolce Vita has 7 foot 2 inch headroom virtually everywhere. All door frames are 6 foot 10 inches high, the vanity and bathroom countertops were raised to 38 inches, and like other Hargrave clients, this owner opted for the wide body to maximize the size of the salon and dining area, for 8 of course. One Hargrave owner wanted a large motor yacht that had an interior right out of the latest renderings from Milano, but with exterior lines that were not the flavor of the month. Hargrave commissioned Jack Sarin to draw the lines of the 95-foot Freedom with a 22-foot beam, and the owner worked closely with Shelley DeCandina to give the inside of the boat the modern Italian look he wanted. Tones of gray, brown, and off-white are used throughout the boat on the bulkheads, the furniture, carpet, the overhead, and on cabinets. This owner also wanted a separate entrance to the master stateroom and a west coast pilot house which combines the lower helm station with the country kitchen. No problem for Hargrave. The owner of this boat wanted a boat under 100 feet that could do pretty much what every Hargrave does. Offer plenty of room for entertaining and long distance cruising in a comfortable yacht with one twist. The owner also wanted the boat to be comfortable for the crew. So let's take a look. The captain gets a private stateroom of course. That includes an ensuite. The others get a shared cabin. The 98-foot Tiger's Eye has a 21-foot beam, and that beam pays off not only in the salon and dining area, but also in the Sky Lounge, which has the boat's only helm. The Sky Lounge is a second salon and has not only a bar, but also a day head. Behind and outside is a jacuzzi hot tub, settee, grill, and room for a tender. Another Hargrave owner wanted a venue that her children and grandchildren could not refuse. What would be better than a 100-foot raised pilot house motor yacht that could go any place in the world? So, the mission of Sunny was to have the children and grandchildren aboard in separate staterooms, with all four being the same. Well, that's our look at the breadth of customization that Hargrave can provide, from a basic 76 flush deck motor yacht to a 185-foot tri-cabin, from production standard fiberglass hulls to one-off composite hulls, and interiors to meet all tastes and levels of luxury. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.